Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, as some of you guys might know, every single year around New Year's time, Dokkan gets a brand new Dual Dokkan Festival on the JP side of the game. And to quickly refresh your memory, last year we had the Int Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku and Tech Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta that transformed into Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Majin Vegeta respectively. And then the year before that, it was the Broly movie Dual Dokkan Fest with the AGL Super Saiyan Gogeta and uh, Fizz Super Saiyan Broly. And the year before that, it was Tech Vegito Blue and STR Rose. Yes, these guys are almost three years old at this point. That's just crazy to me. Anyways, obviously this year, we're also going to be getting a new Dual Dokkan Festival for New Year's. And since we are officially in December, it's coming up very, very soon in under a month. So the question that's on the minds of a lot of people at this moment is, what is this year's Dual Dokkan Festival going to be? What are the new units going to be? And the honest answer is, nobody really knows. Because Bandai slash Akatsuki haven't really revealed any official information on their social media pages, or in the in-game news, or anything like that. And we probably can't expect anything official until the V-Jump League comes out in the middle of December. So it's going to be about two to two and a half weeks before we get any kind of confirmation. Unless somebody like I Seriously or Kawaii, Dokener, so on and so forth, you know, releases that information even earlier than the B-Jump, right? But I'm not really sure if that's going to happen this year. We'll have to see. Either way, all we can do in the meantime is make some educated guesses and speculate and have a discussion, right? And I tried to do this by taking a look at some of the banners that came out before these Dual Dokkan Fest dropped in their, you know, respective years. And there doesn't really seem to be any kind of theme that they follow. Like, for example, the banners that came out directly before the Dual Dokkan Fest between the Goku and Vegeta was um, the Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku banner, as well as the Android 13 banner. So obviously, JP was on the Super Android 13 uh, movie celebration at the time and for this year they just got the transforming bojack and by all means it seems like there's gonna be a bojack movie gohan lr dropping later in the month so we can't really use the previous banners to gauge what's coming next because it's unlikely they're gonna keep releasing more bojack movie units right so i guess the point i'm trying to make is that there really aren't any wrong answers, right? The possibilities are kind of endless, and almost anything you say at this point has a chance to actually happen, right? But with that said, there is one specific Dual Dokkan Fest that I feel like has a higher chance than others, and it also happens to be the Dual Dokkan Fest that I'm looking forward to the most, that I think we've been needing for a very long time now, and that would be a Dual Dokkan Festival between a brand new Super Gogeta from the, you know, original Dragon Ball Z Broly movie, or sorry, uh, Gogeta movie, and also a new Janemba. Okay, now, if you look back at the history of Super Gogetas in this game, not including the one from the Broly movie, which still was like two years ago, but if we're only talking about Dragon Ball Z Gogeta, the last Super Gogeta was Int Gogeta, which came out in April of 2017. That's more than three and a half years ago. And same thing for Janemba. There hasn't even been a new Janemba if you don't count like Janembu. Wait, when did Janembu come out? I'm not sure, but either way, we're not counting him. The last legit Janemba we got was at the same time since it was a dual token festival between the Gogeta and the Janemba. So April 2017, more than three and a half years ago. So we are very, very much overdue for a new Dragon Ball Z Super Gogeta, and especially a new Janemba. Now I know this Gogeta is getting an Extreme Z Awakening on the 8th, and you know, a new Super Gogeta would actually make this guy, for the most part, obsolete. But I don't think that Bandai, or Akatsuki rather, would be against doing that, right? Like, I can totally see them making this Gogeta really, really good with his Extreme Z Awakening, and then about a month after, be like, yo, but look, here's an even better Gogeta that you definitely want to summon for. And, uh, you know, you can enjoy your Int Gogeta, he'll be fine, but wouldn't you rather have this even better Gogeta? And even though some people might say, yo, this is too much Gogeta at once, 
I mean, at the end of the day, it's Gogeta, right? Gogeta makes money. Like, there's a couple of characters that are just huge money makers for Bandai, and uh, Gogeta's definitely one of them. Vegito is another one. Obviously, Broly, uh, UI Goku, and I think those are probably the big ones. What else am I forgetting? No, I think that's it. Those are definitely the main ones. Obviously, there's some Vegetas and some Gohans that could still be very popular, but in terms of, like, the ultimate hype, it's pretty much Gogeta, Vegito, Broly, and uh, uh, UI Goku as the big money makers. And I really don't think they would be opposed to dropping a new Gogeta right after the EZA, the Int Gogeta. And then of course for Janemba, he just makes sense for this Dual Tokon Fest given, you know, the, the movie. And also the fact that they did come out as a Dual Tokon Fest three and a half years ago. And honestly, Janemba to me is such a cool character. He's definitely one of my favorite uh, movie villains of all time, even though he doesn't really have much of a personality, he doesn't really talk. His design is just so sick, his moves and the sword and all that stuff just are awesome, you know? So I think Janemba deserves more love, I think he deserves another iteration sooner than later. And that's my main prediction, guys, for this upcoming Duel Duel Confest. I think it's gonna be a new Super Gogeta as well as a new Janemba from the Fusion Reborn movie. And could you imagine just how sick these guys' animations would look with like the current level of animations we've been getting, Gogeta? I mean, we already have like some of those animations with the three-year Gogeta, right? But that was almost three years ago. So now with their updated, I don't know, techniques or technology or whatever they're doing, um, they could make it like 10 times better. And then for Janemba, like, we really don't have a good Janemba animation in this game. Like, STR Janembas are okay for the time they came out, but they're pretty lame by today's standards, right? And yo, they better give him some kind of a sick dodge slash counter animation where he turns into, like, the pixels or, like, little Lego squares, like in the movie. That has to be there, right? So, uh, yeah, I'm hoping and also predicting that this year's Dual Dokkan Festival for New Year's on JP is gonna be a new Gogeta, Super Gogeta, as well as a new Janemba, um, but obviously that's not 100%, we'll find out for sure once the V-Jump League comes out. Um, and like I said, man, the possibilities really are endless. Some other popular predictions have been uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Kid Buu since we didn't get a new Kid Buu for the download celebration this year. It could also be like a you know, Saiyan Saga Goku and Vegeta, or maybe a new iteration of the Namek Super Saiyan Goku and Full Power Frieza, and so on and so forth, right? Like I said, there's no wrong answers. Like, anything you say right now could potentially happen. So, if you guys have any different predictions other than, you know, what I said, the Gogeta and Janemba, then feel free to let me know in the comments down below, and we can come back to this video in a couple weeks and see who was actually correct, right? Like, some people might say, yo, we just got, or we're getting a, uh, you know, Gogeta EZA, so they're definitely not gonna give us a new version of Gogeta. But I don't think that's necessarily true. I don't think Akatsuki would be above that, you know? Oh, and before I forget, let's quickly talk about when global players can expect to see this Dual Dokkan Fest, right? And there's actually not really a set date or a set time that they release these on global. It could range anywhere between, like, I would say two to four months after it comes out on JP, which is the end of December. So, uh, for example, for Vegito Blue, it came out on December 28th, 2017 for JP, and then Global got it on April 19th of 2018, so about four months after. And uh, for the Dual Dokkan Fest with Broly and Gogeta, it actually came out only about a month and a half after, but I think that was to coincide with the global release of the Broly movie. So it's probably not going to be this soon this year because, you know, if you look at this year, or rather the last year's uh, Dual Dokkan Fest, it came out on December 26th, 2019 for JP, and then May 8th, 2020, or, you know, May of this year. So about four and a half months after it came out on JP. So as I said, no official release date for uh, Global. It's going to be anywhere between two to four months after it comes out on JP at the end of December. And uh, that is pretty much today's video, guys. The main thing was to remind people that yes, a new Dual Tokon Festival is definitely coming for New Year's. And then to give you guys my main prediction, which is, you know, Janemba and Gogeta. I really hope it happens, man. I really, really want another 
the Nemba, he better not be extreme STR though. Any extreme type unit that comes out next has to be extreme tech, okay? Because extreme tech obviously needs the most help. Extreme STR is just fine. We just got the Bojack, we have cooler, so on and so forth. So no more extreme STR for a while. Actually, extreme STR and super STR. I don't really know what their obsession with STR as a type is because super STR, in my opinion, is definitely the most busted type in the entire game and extreme str might be the best extreme type maybe so anyways yeah whether it's Shinemba or somebody else just make them extreme tech and we'll be good to go all right but uh, guys that is today's video thank you so much for watching once again let me know in the comments down below what your predictions are for this upcoming dual tokon fest and we can find out in a couple weeks who was right and who was wrong i'm feeling pretty confident about my pick though to be honest. But uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.